great day for me personally because uh, we were in the trenches. Some of us, like I was with the Bear Corps and some could go. And there uh, were some people are uh, outside that you are hearing their name. There will be another group, like a second level, that we don't like to publicize. So it's a great thing that Mohammed Zouari has done. Although we are not saying, we are just, this is just the beginning. There are many more things that we want, like restructuring. And then we want the killing of the Middle Belt people to stop. We know he can do it. Because I remembered when he came back from UK and uh, there was some problem with the Biafra stuff, he, he, he condoned it within, within the two or three days. He finished it. So those people who are killing in the Middle Belt, they should please, he can do it. He can give orders and it will be done. Colleague's point, yes, he has scored it. What about those who were there before? Why don't they score their own point? They never did. We talked to Olucha uh, Gomba Sanjo. Jonathan too was there. Tebi Jonathan gave uh, a batter this year for didn't he? Uh -huh. So if they said they told the political point, yes, he has scored it. You two score your own. That we have been clamoring for the recognition of June 12th as our own democracy day. And not only that, that Abiola should be honored. 25 years after, it shows that freedom comes by struggle. And the federal government, although it's long overdue, but I want to thank the government of President Muhammadu Buhari for this unique recognition. And we also want to say that for IBB and uh, of former President of Basenjo, it's not too late. They can also make their own recognition known in a special way. If it's apology or any other thing. But far more than that, I think that when we talk about June 12, June 12 is about mandate protection, free choice, ballot integrity. June 12 was when Nigerians put aside primordial interest and voted for a Muslim Muslim ticket. It goes a long way in saying that we must imbibe the lessons of June 12. Imbibing the lessons of June 12 is ensuring that every one of us will have a permanent voter's card. When we vote, government must provide an, an enabling environment. Citizens themselves must also ensure that the mindset that says we must always make elections war, we must ballot with blood, should be a thing of the past. We must also, also ensure that there's free fair and credible elections, starting from Ikiti, from Ikiti to Oshun, from Oshun to the general election. I feel so heartbroken anytime somebody is injured or somebody dies. That person who dies might be the best newscaster, might be the best governor, might be the best governor, our president. Please let us all ensure that we stop balloting with our blood and we conduct ourselves in free and fair atmosphere. Let us also remember, I met Abiola not less than 12 times. Abiola paid with his only life. He paid the supreme price. There is a need for us. The government must institute a judicial commission of inquiry to find out how Abiola died. We cannot just lose Abiola and the mandate. We also want to plead with government that there must be posthumous recognition of Abiola as a past president so that when we have portraits of all past presidents, Abiola's portrait will also hang there. Far more importantly, Nigeria needs to stop killing each other. We need to love ourselves and we need to demonstrate that Nigeria has come of age. But I know that ultimately Nigeria must be restructured. We must ensure that all these ideas Abiola lived and died for, we entrench it in our minds so that Abiola would not have died in vain. to honor them, to boost their spirit, to do more because the struggles still have another layer. The issue of restructuring of the Nigerian politics, which is the next stage. We won't give up. After the post award to Shifemke Wadiola and Shifganifa Emi, 
even June 12th holiday. The most beautiful aspect of it is June 12th holiday. You know, our children, giving them an holiday, they will have their teachers and their friends. What is the meaning of June 12th holiday? So we give room to refresh the memory of what has happened and even be a guide to them in future occurrence in democratic uh, dispensation. So definitely what happened now is a good omen to a June 12th procedure, a progress ele progressive element in Nigeria. So that when you are fighting a cause, you must not give up until you get what you are asking for. That's why we call it the struggle continue. Aluta Asata. The record is there. Even the time President Ibrahim uh, Abangida annulled the election, they have the record of the results. Even we are not in the IT era by then. We have the record. We know how many states that Abiola won. We know the figures. We even know within a period of one week that Abiola defeated Tofa, which came from Kano as a candidate. So definitely, it's a clear message. It's not a hidden document. So when you are talking of declaring the results, I think what President Muhammad Buhari does is to bring a spirit of fair play. Because when you are gauging the legal aspect of it, we may not conclude in the right path. And we, we may not have a very good reference to use in Fusion to concretize our democratic sector. So definitely, I think the result is on hey, I have so many results, and most of it are accurate of what happened. And uh, even going through this result in the internet refresh us a, of memory of how the election electionary gauge the vote that certain states can cast in Nigeria compared to what we have in 2015. Do you know the election of Kanu State? Both SDP and NRC is now up to 700. And the vote of Lagos State, both SDP and NRC is almost 1.2 million. And Lagos State now, in 2015, both PDP and APC is just 1.8 million. And Kano of 2015, which Jigawa have been removed, Kasina have been removed, they still deliver the more than 2 million in election because APC is 1.9, PDP is about 200, more than 2 million. So definitely you will realize that uh, during the time of June 12th, the genuine minded of election empire was there. The genuine minded of counting the vote through option A4 was there, comparing of uh, dropping a ballot, which a lot of underage people was registered in the north, creating about 30,000 polling units in the north against the south. So definitely a country that does not believe in justice cannot move forward. One of the impediments to our progress in this country is that we don't believe in justice. Majority of our decision is on the basis of injustice. You can imagine some people criticizing uh, that proclamation from Mr. President. I saw, I thought Mr. Mr. President is a full centralist-minded person. But what he does on Wednesday shocked me beyond the, my, my marrows. So definitely, even though we don't like his face, we don't like his policy, the gift given to Nigeria on, on Wednesday is a very good gift. After celebrating that gift, the struggle continues towards 2019.